clogging your arteries with chitlins and fat and sodium. I want to tell you to get out the prayer line. Let me save my blessed oil for someone who has enough concern about their own self-healing that you can begin to heal yourself by the Word of God. Third John and two, beloved, I, I feel God. I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Now, I have other scriptures here. I'll leave that alone. But Joshua chapter 1 makes several claims about uh, Joshua chapter 1 within the 6th and ninth verse says, as you follow the Word of God, then you shall make your own way prosperous. See, a lot of us are expecting God to do for us what we are supposed to do for ourselves. I will give you a, a, a Proverbs 29, 16, where there is no vision, the people perish. What is your vision for your life? Once you have broken in, it's time for you to break in to what is God's conversation about your life. What is God's conversation about the best life I can have? It is the will of God. I've come that you might have life and life more abundantly. I don't only want your soul saved, Jesus says, I want your, the whole quality of your life should change when Christ is your Savior because you now have broken out of the cocoon of sickness and self-imposed psychosis and pathology. I wish I had time to talk about some of these generational pathologies that just go from generation to generation and don't nobody get no help nowhere. You knew Uncle Willie was sick years ago. He was crazy when you were five. He's more crazy now that you're 60. He was crazy then, he's crazy now. And had somebody had enough wisdom to get him some therapy instead of trying to deny people's illness, he'll never get healed. And that, that sickness, it went on down to his son, and now it's down to your grandson, it's down to your nephew, and it, Aunt, Aunt Martha, you love her, but she's been rocking and talking herself since she was 19. Your uncle's been getting drunk at the family reunions down by the car in the field while the women were in the kitchen. They've been getting tore up from the floor up since you were five and won't nobody get no help. And now you look at your generational tree and you see your father, your grandfather, your great great grandfather, your great great grandfather, and now that taste for liquor is up in your own spirit because nobody ever allowed God to break through. I mean, really get them the Jesus. I'm not talking about playing, but when you really get to Jesus and let Jesus really get to you, he'll get all over you. He'll get all in you. He'll change your life. He'll change your mind. He'll change your taste. He'll change who you are.